everyone welcome back to diy hagrid your number one animal scientist and your poultry success partner so in today's video i'm going to be showing you some of the key ways to prevent diseases on your farm and one of them is to vaccinate your chickens the ones that are, that are going to be staying long on your farm against fowl pox so this is one of the broilers that i raised to show you guys how to brood and you know it is the guy is eight weeks plus now going to nine weeks and you can see what we have massive guy here But today I'm going to be vaccinating the noilers against fowl pox and I'm going to be showing you everything <laughs> from start to finish exactly how to vaccinate against fowl pox. Contrary to what some people will think, fowl pox vaccine is not what you do like the Lasota and the Gumboro is actually different. So I'm going to be showing you how to do it. Uh, these noilers are the same age with the broiler and um, you know i actually delayed the vaccination a little i should have done it more much earlier around six weeks or even five weeks so i'm going to be doing it right now i'm going to be vaccinating them against fowl pox and i'll be showing you everything i also have some brahmas and since they are going to be staying long on the farm too oh guy this guy is crazy he's a brahma with hair all over so i'm going to be vaccinating them too all right, before I proceed with what we have to do today, I bring you a great news, good news about the organic poultry farming training that I've been doing for a while now. I tell you, people have been saying, oh, DIY Agri, we enjoy your session so much. It has really impacted us, it has helped us. Oh, my beds are now growing crazily. That's amazing. Weights that you cannot even imagine. People get it without using anything harmful. But then, we are even adding more. This August, I'm having two batches, actually, and this second batch is the first of its kind. We've never done it like this before. This time we are going to be having live sessions in the afternoon where I will show you this is this this is this uh, this is what we call this this is what we call a calm down I will show you this is what we call this, this is what we call that so nothing is left for imagination you are going to be seeing everything live before you I also show you how to mix those apps that can combat Newcastle disease all viral diseases bacterial diseases fungi everything I show it to you I mean, in a live session, you can even ask questions, you know. So this is an amazing opportunity. And if you want to join this time, you think organic poetry is your thing, I'll be leaving the link to the WhatsApp group in the description below. I'll also be leaving it in the comment section so you can click the link and join the next class. It's going to be amazing. Trust me, it's going to be amazing. This training is actually supposed to start on the 16th of August, but we moved it to 28th because of people like you. I know I've not done a video to tell you about the training. I just wanted to be sure that I give you guys equal opportunity to hear about the training. And since I've not done any video in about two weeks, I knew a lot of people would want to hear about this training, but then they've not had the opportunity to. So right now we are moving into 28th, which is Friday. We're going to be starting on Friday. So go right there in the description or in the comment section, click the link, join the WhatsApp group, and then pay to become part of the paid group. So thank you. I'll be expecting you. Now let's proceed. But then before I proceed, I'd like to show you one very important thing that I just did here. It's a biosecurity measure because when you are doing biosecurity, you want to try to prevent disease invasion on your farm. You don't want diseases to come into your farm. And even if diseases come, you want to do your farm arrangement, your farm plan in such a way that you are able to minimize disease spread, just like you don't raise uh, older beds close to younger birds those are ways to minimize the spread of disease and if disease is now spread you want to also make sure that you are able to eradicate and one of the ways to be able to do that is you don't raise two or three batches in the same house so that if there is a disease outbreak you are able to call those birds and disinfect the whole house but if you have them in batches even if the older ones are out the younger ones will still be there and you will not be able to do any effective disinfection or cleaning of the whole house so that is this is one thing that i actually did i i made a drain here such that even if i'm selling the chickens if i take this cage house for example to supply one of the ones i'm bringing it back in i put it here at this point and i disinfect the cage i make sure that i disinfect the cage before bringing it into the chicken house or in the chicken area this is the chicken house here i'm going to be showing you so 
this is one very important thing that I just did and it's actually working. It's working real well. Another purpose that it serves is when I'm defeathering the broilers here, I get to use this drain easily. You know, the water, the feather, everything just goes, goes there and it is wasted. You know, I collect the main feather here, but then the pieces of the feathers and the water goes straight out of the compound. So quickly, let's go to our vaccination proper. I'm gonna be showing you how to do foul pox vaccination. Oh my God, these guys are pecking my hands. Okay, so let me show you how to do foul pox vaccination. Once again, this is DIY Hagrid. If you are new to the channel, you want to subscribe because this is where you learn everything about poultry farming. I'm the guy that wants you to succeed. I'm your poultry success partner. So everything I do here is to help you succeed. All right, let's go to the vaccination. Enough of the talking. So very quickly, these are the things we are using. I have actually diluted this. This comes with a diluent. It's like in liquid form, it's like distilled water. This is the diluent. And this usually comes in tablet form. So I just took with a syringe. Oh, it fell. With a syringe, I took the diluent from inside that vial. Then I put it inside this one to dissolve the tablet so that's what you're going to get if you're getting foul pox vaccine you're going to be getting two vials one tablet form and the other the diluent so here is the needle we are going to be using this is the needle it's two mouth needle or uh, two needles with sharp hands so this is what we're going to be using and this like i said earlier and the root of administration of this is actually the wing web jab i'm going to be showing you very quickly so this is the ice pack that came with the vaccine so we are done using this let me just put it aside so this is what i need this vial with already dissolved or diluted vaccine and then this needles so usually when you are performing this kind of operation you would need assistance you need somebody holding the chicken properly making sure that the chicken is comfortable and not stressed then you just do the jabbing but because i'm doing this alone and you know it's not the first time so i think i'll be able to manage and find my way around it so i'll pick them one after the other right you want to make sure that the chicken is calm i'm not going to be putting this on top so it doesn't pop so i'll just place it right down here then get the chicken to settle down you have to put it since i'm doing it alone i have to put it on the side like this get it to stay like this okay so okay let me just quickly show you something very quickly once I place it like that, okay, let me see if you're seeing it clearly, okay. So we are, we are jabbing this part, this part of the wing where there's no air, where there's no feather, rather. So this is where we are jabbing. We're just gonna push these two needles through, boom. You push it, it comes out of the other hand, then you pull it back. That's all. But before you push it in, you make sure you insert inside the vaccine vial. So you put it through the web, to the wing web, and you just pull it out. So that's how we do it. So you may not be able to see it clearly when I start. So I decided to show you like this. All right, so I'm gonna to have to back. The chicken is gonna to have to back you, sorry. All right, so once it's calm, then I remove the rubber on the vial. Then I insert my needle, make sure it's well inserted, and I'll just jab in and out, pump, pop, that's all. So this, va this chicken is vaccinated. So this chicken is vaccinated against fowl pox. Place your needle inside there. Because I'm alone also and I have dogs in the compound, I have to walk down to the cage to put this guy there. okay so that's pretty much how you do it for all of them so that you i don't waste your time you may not be seeing all of them but i'll make sure i do the grammar and make sure make sure that you see the grammar okay 
you get them to calm down like this make sure you use your hand to hold the wing and use this part of the hand to hold the chicken down yeah like this yeah so with this hand um, i've arrested this chicken without stressing it much because you don't want to stress the chicken then you just jab in and out from pop make sure that your needle is not blunt blunt needle will stress the chicken because it'll be hard to push through all right this guy is also vaccinated So let me get my small Brahma. These Brahmas are beautiful. They take long to mature, but they are wonderful chickens. Just look at this. Wow. So I'm going to vaccinate my Brahma compulsorily. Well, if you're practicing organic poultry farming, we practicing organic poultry farming, we have our way of getting around most of these things. <laughs>